Well, Saturday, El Tour de Tucson will put about 7,500 cyclists on local roads, and that can be a bewildering experience for drivers sharing the road or getting stopped to let cyclists pass. Nine on your side's Craig Smith has been talking with cyclists and organizers about how to keep everyone safe, and Craig joins us live along that route right now. Craig? Well, right now, we're at Wilmot and Golf Lakes. This is one of the places where the cyclists will roll through and where drivers may have to temporarily stop rolling to accommodate them. It could be dangerous if someone gets impatient or confused. So we gathered some advice on how to stay safe. El Tour is a once a year event that gives cyclists the run of the road in some spots as cyclists roll through routes that vary from 32 to 102 miles. Sharon Murdoch is in from California for the ride. Does she worry about conflict with cars? Yes, but I'm, I am relying on the organization to keep us safe and usually they have, um, you know, the intersections are pretty much protected. So I'm not really too concerned, but I know you still have to be concerned because the cars don't always know what you're going to do. El Tour's executive director says organizers shifted the route, so more of it is in areas less busy than in previous El Tours. And they brought in plenty of law enforcement to manage the routes and the drivers. And they're going to come up to an intersection where there's a lot of bikes. So there'll be lots of officers out there directing with lights and sirens uh, in certain situations. And, and again, the key word is safety. Um, they just want to you know, stop them when it's safe to proceed they're going to direct those cars through. And so that's pretty much all on the south side of town and lower traffic roads than typically that we've been in the past. Tucson Police Chief Chad Kasmar says he'll be riding in one of the events. He has some advice for drivers who may not be used to an officer directing traffic by hand. You're probably not going to be the first car in line, but if you are, look to make eye contact with the public safety official that's directing traffic and only go when they tell you to go. They're going to be very clear. They're going to tell you where to go, which direction. That's not the time to debate which direction you'd like to go. We're going to put you the safest route possible. Now, organizers know drivers who have to wait may get a little impatient, but they hope that they will recognize that El Tour is one of those once a year events and it raises about $5 million for charity. Reporting live, Craig Smith, KGA 9 on your side.